Hi, welcome to episode four of Pop Culture Beast Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, director of Eggs, the upcoming horror movie starring Lynn Lowry and Dwayne Whitaker. Uh, today we're going to talk about a visually striking Italian exorcist knockoff from the 70s. He is the essence of the unholy. His names are the symbols of fear, thief of life, enemy of the faith, foe to the human race. The tempter, Satan, why do you stand and resist? She is his. Deliver her from evil. The tempter, rated R. Heavily edited when it was released in the States as The Tempter, the uh, proper title for this Italian shocker is The Antichrist, or Anticristo, directed by Alberto De Martino and starring Carla Gravina, Mel Ferrer, or Ferrer, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, and Arthur Kennedy. Uh, the movie was shot by Joe D'Amato, who later went on to make a lot of uh, porn and smut films, including the infamous uh, cannibal smut film and Laura Gemser, Monica Zanchi team up, Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals. Of all the uh, Exorcist knockoff movies that were made in the 70s, um, The Antichrist holds a, a special place in my heart. I think it's one of the better ones, uh, certainly better than uh, movies like Beyond the Door. Um, and others, if, if only for its, uh, its visual flair and style. Um, also the fact that it's set in Rome, so it's set amongst the Catholic Church, and uh, there's quite a few uh, <laughs> crazy Catholics to be seen in this movie. It actually opens on just some insane religious ritual sequences. The absurdity and, and insanity of some of the uh, uh, various Catholic rituals and um, beliefs are certainly uh, on display and sort of skewered gleefully for your uh, sacrilegious enjoyment. Uh, the movie opens with Carla Gravina's character having been paralyzed from the waist down. Um, she's sort of like this uh, redhead beauty with uh, hardcore daddy issues who's jealous of her father's uh, romance with a younger woman. She's being taken to a statue of the Virgin Mary where Catholic believers are putting their hands on it to try to cure themselves of ailments. And they witness um, the suicide of uh, presumably somebody who's possessed by the devil. This moment provides um, probably the first very laughable special effects sequence as the suicide is done with kind of a cheesy uh, blue screen effect. Um, but for the most part, the Antichrist displays some really effective special effects. Um, it does have to rely on the effects of the time, so there are a number of cheesy sequences either involving uh, front projection, rear projection, and, uh, and blue screen. But um, much of the uh, movie is actually quite effective, and the effects uh, uh, overall really add to the film's visual flair. Uh, Carla Gravina's character is quite moody and uh, she's sort of like a petulant child even though she's probably you know 25 years old or older. She does what uh, naturally any young uh, insane Catholic might do. She decides to sleep with Satan for uh, the power to get her legs back. This leads into just one of the great shocking scenes in the movie, uh, the infamous goat orgy. Um, also known as the uh, Daughter of Satan sequence. If only thou were easy, thou art about to become a daughter of Satan. Art thou prepared? She um, sort of connects with a past life version of herself, uh, a heretic who was burned at the stake uh, after giving herself to Satan. And she's sort of writhing in the bed, masturbating while we cut back and forth from her past life to her current life. Um, and at the end of it all, she's uh, uh, presumably had uh, sex with Satan or uh, uh, given oral sex to a goat. <laughs> it's really. Uh, quite shocking and uh, 
uh, visually suggestive without actually showing too much. Even though this movie has a reputation as being a exorcist ripoff, uh, it really takes a while before it, it gets into that derivative exorcist territory. The first um, hour or so is quite unique. One of my favorite sequences after Carla has regained the use of her legs uh, is a scene in which she seduces a young college student uh, and then presumably uh, snaps his neck and, and twists it around backwards. Oh, once Carla's character becomes full-blown possessed, the movie sort of devolves into like a literal checklist of exorcism cliches. There's the pea soup puke scene, uh, there's the levitating bed and furniture, there's the uh, Catholic exorcist who shows up uh, in the middle of the night uh, and performs an exorcism ritual. It's a little bit of a uh, slow burn, but once the movie picks up, it gets pretty crazy relatively quickly. Um, in comparing it to Regan and the Exorcist, uh, Carla's um, possession is, I think, far more shocking in terms of uh, what she says and does. Um, she certainly uh, is way more profane, way more perverse, and uh, the words that are coming out of her mouth are um, still shocking today. There's also a very impressive sound design, uh, plus Ennio Morricone did the uh, music. There were two composers, but uh, Ennio does all of the insane, uh, frantic violin, uh, devil possession stuff in the movie. Unfortunately, it's not all great. Uh, the movie does have a sudden and anticlimactic ending that kind of um, is, is all the more disappointing considering how interesting the movie starts out. Uh, there's also quite a ton of uh, holes in the plot logic. It doesn't all make sense. But despite these flaws, I still highly recommend it. So if you're looking for uh, an Italian shocker this Halloween, uh, definitely you could do a lot worse than The Antichrist. Um, the movie has quite a lot to offer, and uh, not a lot of people have seen it, so I think it's ripe for discovery. Thanks again for watching episode four of Pop Culture Beast Halloween Horror Picks. I'm your host, Ryan Stockstead, director of the upcoming Eggs, a horror movie, starring Lynn Lowry and Dwayne Whitaker, now funding on Kickstarter. And as always, we have a contest. If you're the first person to go make a pledge at the Kickstarter page, and uh, then leave a comment in the comment section. Tell us uh, the, uh, that you watched episode four of Halloween Horror Picks, and then tell us the name of the movie referenced on my t-shirt. If you do those things, we will send you a Crown Prince Productions movie pack along with whatever reward uh, you earn from your pledge level. Uh, also be sure to like the Eggs page on Facebook, uh, follow the Eggs Twitter feed. If you don't already, be sure to follow the uh, Pop Culture Beast Twitter feed and be sure to subscribe to the Pop Culture Beast YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Watch horror movies. I'll see you next time.